Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is approaching alarming levels, but even halting emissions completely may not be enough to prevent catastrophic climate change. Could scrubbing carbon dioxide from the air be a good solution? A new study by scientists Long Cao and Ken Caldera at the Carnegie Institution suggests that a one-time removal of excess carbon dioxide would cool the planet. But because of the complexities of the carbon cycle, keeping carbon dioxide at low levels would require a commitment of decades or even centuries. Previous studies have shown that reducing carbon dioxide emissions to zero would not lead to very much cooling, because carbon dioxide already in the atmosphere would continue to trap heat. For cooling to occur, greenhouse gases would need to be removed. The study did not focus on any specific method for capturing and storing carbon dioxide. The possibilities include approaches ranging from industrial-scale chemical technologies to changing land use so more carbon dioxide is absorbed by vegetation. The study simulated an idealized case in which carbon emissions were reduced to zero and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was instantaneously restored to pre-industrial levels. Removing all human-emitted carbon dioxide from the simulation caused temperatures to drop, but it offset less than half of the CO2-caused warming for two reasons. First, slightly more than half of the carbon dioxide produced by fossil fuels for the past two centuries has been absorbed in the oceans. Carbon dioxide that is removed from the atmosphere is partially replaced by gas coming out of ocean water. Second, the drop in atmospheric carbon dioxide and the change in surface temperature causes an overall emission of carbon dioxide from the soil. According to the simulations, for every 100 billion tons of carbon removed from the atmosphere, average global temperatures would drop 0.28 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.16 degrees centigrade. Further simulations showed that extracting carbon dioxide from the air would have to continue for decades or perhaps centuries. A more prudent plan might be preventing carbon dioxide emissions now rather than trying to clean up the atmosphere later. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.